Cool. So today, gonna start disassembling the shafts and pieces. I've already ordered the uh, kit for, it comes with bearings, um, synchronizer rings, and s a couple seals. Um, I think that's it. So I ordered that kit. And I also made a separate order for a whole bunch of, whole bunch of parts. While we wait for that, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking stuff apart and inspecting stuff and having stuff ready for when those parts do finally arrive. The tools that arrived. We have a bearing uh, splitter here. New uh, ring clip remover tool thing. It, uh, yeah, so we have that. Um, that was expensive. That was like 60 bucks for that. That's crazy. A thread uh, restore kit. Uh, so I wanna chase some threads under the car for something that's a little messed up and I also want to... Actually, that's about it. What else arrived? Oh, I got my disc wheels. These are plastic brushes, plastic brushes to clean off the, the mating surfaces of parts that need um, to be cleaned for a gasket. Anaerobic. Um, an anaerobic mm -hmm. gasket maker. Uh, this is stuff I'll probably use for the actual gasket around there. Uh, I did also order some red stuff um, instead of blue. I don't know what the difference is. Gear marking compound and the uh, uh, transmission oil. Why don't we start with the input shaft first. So I think I'm gonna be ordering a new sleeve. Um, and these are the uh, synchro rings. All of these are getting replaced, um, assuming everything goes well. And then this piece on the output shaft is also getting replaced. Is Okay, so the cost for all this is really high. Um, and uh, it's almost at the point where I might as well have sent the transmission to get rebuilt or have ordered a used transmission. But uh, this is a good learning experience anyways, and I'm just gonna roll with that. I'm also gonna be ordering some extra balls and springs in case they go flying when I try to reassemble everything or disassemble things. Let's see, I put shaft, we got some ball, or not ball, pin, pin bearings? I'm not sure. Got some of these ordered. So hopefully all that, those will be replaced. Um, and yeah, so, and then this bearing, oh, definitely gonna be replaced. But I've already removed the snap ring off this one, or, or C clip or whatever you wanna call it. And I guess what's next is to start separating these out. Um, I'm gonna double check the manual first. It does want us to start with this anyways. All right, so synchronizer ring, needle bearing, those are already out. Um, snap ring bearing, that's what we got out. Okay, so the next is the actual bearing, C5119. 5119. All right, so remove the bearing using the SST or the light service tool. Cool. Get to use the press for the first time. Yeah, that's that may not work actually. Might be too small. Because it's not gonna be going under that. We'll see if I can get it on. I wonder if I should flip it around actually. Hang on. I 
That's making me a little nervous. See movement. It's coming out. All right. So this is all under a lot of pressure. So try not to lose it when it gets free. All right. There we go. So. Note to self, the ring on the bearing goes towards the front or the, the top of this. Cool. There we go. And then this stuff. And let's move on to the output shaft. This one's heavy. It's at least like 20 pounds there, I think. Yeah, around 20 pounds, I would imagine. What do I do first? So this part right here, this little purple thing, is uh, for the speedometer. It reads how fast the output shaft is spinning and thus how fast the car is theoretically going. simple doesn't seem to have a specific direction to go on and then we have a little ball here it's very important it helps keep it in in place so it doesn't spin then we got another uh, clip here retaining clip carefully remove there we go we got this other retaining clip right here. I don't think this is the right tool for this. I think I could just punch this one off. All right, so I think that one gets punched off. So did I get a set that's way too small? Maybe I need another, maybe I need to get another set. Uh, one problem after another. Hmm, these tools were supposed to be enough. <sighs> I gotta spend more money on more tools. Let's see if I can get this backside off. That'll... Or front side, this is actually the front technically. flying all right so that came off like it should have right and does this fit in the, uh, in the tool I bought it does not appear to I do have another shaft I could be looking at to take apart let's go ahead and take a look at the intermediate intermediary shaft uh, see what I can do from here. Hmm. Okay, so first, this snap ring comes off or retaining clip. So this should be as simple as. bearing comes off separate and that actually seems small enough I can use the tools I bought for this job on it 
Okay. There is a bearing piece on the ground here, or a ball. Is this the missing ball? Or a different ball? I don't know, we're gonna leave it over there for now. something can slide over so we'll put one of these there spin that around okay that's a little better I guess and now Pushing through nice and easy. Ta da! Cool. All right, there seems to be a spacer here, so let me make sure I don't lose any parts. All right, oh. Okay. This is the front, I think. Six gear goes on here, on this side, yeah, okay. So we had a little piece there. We'll face everything up. So I know which way everything goes in. This is facing this way because it would have to face that way. Cool. And then here we have appears to be two spacers. Okay. A solid spacer and a notched spacer or something. Then, supposedly, I guess that needs to be pressed out. Yep. All right, so let's remove the counter drive gear. Uh, this one might be a little small for that. Oh, that just popped off. Okay. Tensioning part of that gear. It's uh, much shorter. Uh, There we go. Am I forgetting something? That doesn't feel right. There's a ring in there, isn't there? This, there should be. There is one. I see it now. Okay. Yeah, that didn't feel right. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's you can face the wrong way. Hopefully I didn't damage this. Oh, I think I did. I might need a new one of these. Because um, I don't want that being compressed any weird way. <sighs> Alright, something else to order. Oh, 
not better than damaging the gear. Oh, it's coming out. All right, nice, nice, nice. piece came off. Which direction again? This way. So moving on this way. Interesting. So next, five is a ring. A snap ring. Okay, I see it. Where did I put those? Ah. Uh oh, will this not fit in there? Hmm. Okay, these do not fit. Let's see if I can pry it out. Yeah, I'm gonna go with no. Do I need the smaller set of these? Another $60 for a set of snap ring pliers. B in one of these boxes here. Let's not lose pieces, please. That's a mystery. Can we flip this and move it without spilling? Just wide enough to be weird to hold on to. And guess what? They're not in here. Um, well, on the positive side, the press works great. Okay, so this time, uh, it's raining right now, it's a little humid, so I'm gonna probably be a little slower than usual. But, I got some tools, I have some parts. But for the parts that I have now, I have a rear uh, in main engine seal. This goes on the back of the engine, between the engine and the transmission. Seals all the oil in the engine. This is a might as well replace while the transmission's out. And then this seal, I have no idea what it's for. Um, but, or gasket. Uh, but I can go ahead and do that and get that done with, as long as that's the right part. Then I also got a clutch kit. So I should be able to replace, uh, or not replace, I should be able to assemble and put together the entire clutch pack and the flywheels, um, spinny thingy, uh, bearing, and assemble all that, put it in the car, put the oil seal in before doing this. Um, let's, let's just, yeah, there. Um, and then just have this ready together in the car um, before even having transmission done. This was, I think it was 250 bucks. I did not realize how big it was. Um, so when I looked up these, this small one and that other small one that was slightly bigger. These are, uh, I think three and four inch. Um, and this is a seven inch. Honestly, if I knew it was this big, I probably would have gone some, for something smaller, but it was the one that everybody seems to be buying. This is like this tool, only slightly different. Uh, the one I have has a little notch for certain types of rings that I actually don't have. Uh, this tool has uh, grip. I don't know what you would call that. Uh, so that it would grip onto the ring and pull out a little better. Uh, this might help me out a little bit more. This one was a lot cheaper than the other one, I believe. And I also ordered some red. Or it might just be different brands. But they do both call for um, an activator. 
Yeah, or at least I think it's optional. I don't know if it's required or not. Um, which I might have to get. Snap ring pliers. Ouch. These are cheap, dirt, 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 cheap. Um, and they might help with very specific situations where they, I need something very small to get in there. So uh, they are definitely cheap. We're gonna continue with the small shaft. Okay, so next on this is to remove this uh, retaining clip. New tool here. Should hopefully do just that. Oh, it's a little big. Mm. Mm. That's uh, unfortunate. This is a little too thick to reach in here. A little bit more pointier. That, that spreads it. Um, I need it to do the opposite of that. There we go, this one. Um, sure, that works. Yep, so, and there should be a retaining ring and a thrust washer. So maybe it just comes out. Oh nope. That's a different type of ring. Okay. Um Oh hold up. There's two sides to this. What am I looking at here? There should be something else in here. this was five and what I'm picking at is actually two halves so that'd be seven which means there's a retaining ring somewhere went around this ah okay I see and then this ring goes on the outside so this is the retaining ring all right we're well, going to take that up these will come right out. These have a little lip on them. There it goes. And then up would be this way. So. Okay. And then now, it's kind of loose, so this might just come right out. Right? Is this next? No. Eight is next. Eight is a an erase. That inner piece needs to, I guess, rotate and come out. Okay. Interesting. That's a very fascinating piece right there. Okay. And then this piece. Ah. It has like a little race on the inside. Or sorta, of, or is part of the race, I'm not sure. Then we have our synchronizer ring. It's, uh, there. And just careful not to lose any of this stuff. sure how to not lose this stuff. Okay. We got a ball here. I think I'm about to drop. Yep. Okay. So the ball's going on the outside. Interesting. We have one more that got stuck in there. Okay. And then counter third gear. Oh, I was supposed to take that all out as, as an assembly, apparently. 
Oh, 11. What? C5, 11, 11. Okay, so it wants me to take everything out all at once. I see. Okay. And it looks like we... I guess brace on that flat surface part here, probably. So this does need to come out, though, because I need to replace the synchro ring when I get to that part. If I ever get those parts. <clears throat> Anyways, um... So, it may just be... Oh, what was that? I really can't lose parts. There goes another one. Okay, they're just falling out now. There's the spring. Oh, the spring can come out first. I see. Okay. That makes sense. Safety glasses, don't worry. All right, just moved. It's moving pretty easily too. There's a little bit of marring there. I wonder if that's intentional. Interesting. Oh, it's coming out real easy. I guess of course, the first thing I tried to use this press for was uh, extremely difficult, but now everything else is just really easy. Um, okay, so these needle bearings just fell out, or half of them. Not really sure if there's an orientation. If it follows, it'd be that one. Okay. So we got needle bearings in here, we don't want to lose, and we got all of this gear we don't want to lose. There we go. Okay. I don't know if we get new ones of these or not. I kind of hope we do. We got our shaft here. All nice and uh, disassembled. Now the rest of this is just part of the shaft. This is all built into the shaft. So. Pretty neat, pretty neat. A little bit more disassembly. So that's, this one might, mm, so a little bit of marring on it. Doesn't look bad though. And we got third gears, I think it's third gear. Third gears ring. And this must be third gear. All right. And this goes like this. Okay. Um, these will stick with this. So all these. Okay. Cool. So these pieces will be replaced. I, if, I would prefer if I have a bearing free, I might as well replace it. Again, I'm putting everything in Ziplocs because this is very humid garage sometimes and there's weather and stuff and these parts will be out for a while so I want to keep them from you know, being exposed to the elements, to rust, to anything like that as much as I can reasonably do. This piece also looks pretty good. I, I don't think there's any real problems with third or fourth gear so Should be good with it. All right, let's go back and do the, uh, see if we can finish the uh, output shaft. Um, what was I working on here? So we have this ring that wouldn't punch out. Uh, and then, I think I started on the side, did I? No, maybe. Looks like I took out the retaining ring there. And to remove this, I should... 
This side needed the bigger, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That needs to sit still while I punch this like this way. Got it. Nine. Nine is a bearing. It doesn't look like a bearing, but apparently there's a bearing. Okay. Now the only problem is I can press it down, but then it, at some point that third gear is going to be pressed down too far. It's getting stuck or tight. I don't want to damage the gear. That's a lot of pressure. I think it moved slightly. I hope it did. I really don't want to mess up these gears. I might have just messed up this gear. Definitely imprinted on the tool a little bit. That looks like a tooth. Uh, so a little chipped there, much chipped there. Yeah. Yeah, I knew I didn't have enough surface area. Um. Damn. Remove six gear, bearing and first gear together. What? Oh. Then why didn't it say anything over here? <sighs> okay. When you have numbered instructions, you're supposed to follow the numbers, right? And then it says, like over here, it says, see this page to, you know, for disassembly notes. Okay. Um. Oh. I know what I did wrong. I didn't notice. So after removing seven, which was the clip, it says remove eight next, not nine. Eight's over here, not here. Which is, which would have told me to do that. Okay, that was my fault then. Yeah, so to remove six, this bearing, it wants me to remove first gear and, and to take it all off at once, so. Which makes a lot more sense. And it's a little big. And again, it's gonna have to overcome a lot more resistance because it's no longer just doing this gear, it's doing all three of these things, so. See how that works out. Okay, that's a lot of pressure. That was loud. Um, I'm not quite sure what gave there. Something did. 
Oh, the gears did. Uh, yeah, it popped up. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, making progress. That was a good pop. I'm actually a little scared to be down here. Um, not gonna lie. This thing is under considerable pressure. Okay. That was another pop, so it's almost clear. I want to hold on to the shaft, but at the same time, I, I don't because I'm scared that gear is going to shoot up in my hand. So instead, let's put something down here to um, cushion the fall rod. This is a lot of pressure. Okay, there we go. Loosened up a little. Okay, so clearance. There's six. That's the gear I broke. So now we need to get the bearing clear of the spindles and the other gear. So. For whatever reason, sixth gear was uh, really, really, really stuck. These are coming out easy. There we go. And that's why I padded it. All right. Six. Where'd the ring go? Or clip. Bearing, it's probably still good, but I'll replace it anyways if they give me one in the kit. And then first gear, well, actually. Oh, well, first gear with the thingy, bob. bob A synchro gear that is very different from all the other ones. Oh wow, it's multiple pieces here. Okay, looks like it's a three piece. It must embed itself in first gear somehow. So that's that. Oh good, more springs to lose. Um, I think I ended up finding all the missing ones from earlier, so. Okay, what does it want me to remove next here? Let's try to do this in order so we don't break anything else, right? Steel ball. Steel ball. Should be... Oh. Got some needle bearings here. And this should be a steel ball. And the shaft right here. Okay, there it is. And that should keep things from rotating. That's a bigger one. Okay. Doing things in order. Who knew that would help? All right, second gear. Follow 509. Second gear disassembly. Remove the clutch hub component. First, second, and Second gear together using the press. So this is the clutch hub component here, and this is second gear here. So it wants me to remove them all at once, which makes sense because there's nothing to grab on here. I could remove this outer ring, but I don't want to lose the balls and springs and all that. So we might just leave that on for now. Cool. All right, back to the press. We might end up keeping this one because it is nice to have a huge one like this. I can just leave it on the press. Hmm. This is my, this is my problem with buying tools that I should just rent. Um, I buy them, I like them, I wanna keep them. All right. Oh, 
I don't need it this slow. This is all comp compressed already. Well. Yep, I'm gonna raise it up. Yeah, that should be good enough. Still raining. Straight. Good. Okay, good pop. And we're good. Let's just remove all this at once. We got this assembly. Uh, running out of space here. Another special looking piece here. Oh, that has a, a race on it. Huh. Oh. Let's keep all this together then. I wonder how much of this I replace, or if it's just the outer ring. But this should be second gear. You know, second gear doesn't look too bad. So what I'm looking at is, are these, the smaller teeth on this side of it. Um, trying to look for where and I I mean they're not so they're not pointed like a roof um, like those are like an arrow these are point slanted off to the side so I'm trying to, to determine if that's normal or if that's where they don't all look even uh, and I've had some trouble with second gear but it may just be fine I had trouble with it staying in second gear. Not really second gear itself. You know what? I don't think I'll have to replace second gear. Yeah. Yeah, um, I did put, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I, if I told you or not, but I did put the uh, long range, I bought the long range Wi-Fi um, access point for the garage. So now I have a long range at, on the porch and access point and long range on the garage so they can communicate with each other pretty easily actually i haven't had any problems with it so far um and then the one at the garage has a cable running to the computer and it also supports anything else inside the garage and they're the two are meshed together wirelessly so yeah it's worked out pretty well so far all right So the camera's kind of doing two things right now. It, it's streaming the video to the wireless access point, communicating with my phone, I guess it's three things, and also um, recording a higher res video to the SD card inside of it. So, um, it gets pretty warm. And I, uh, speaking of warm, that looks pretty warm. Huh. That looks like it got warm there. Um, not sure if it's supposed to rotate or not because there is this spot where the ball is that keeps things rotating. Hmm. 
little heat spot there. All right, so the rest of this, I believe, is just the rod on this side. Yep, so this gear is part of the shaft, and this race, I believe, is also part of the shaft, so I don't want to ding that up at all. But the next part would be to remove this side, which comes out this way. I've already removed the retaining ring for this. And let's see what's next. Stay. Stay. All right, which is reverse gear, which I've had new, uh, very big problems with. Um, so it looks like we removed that together so that means this is reverse gear here this giant the big gear and then this clutch assembly or whatever it's called not clutch what do you call it oh it is clutch okay clutch hub component uh comes off with it uh, we'll go a second This go in here. Okay, we use the big one. I think it's half inch to seven inches, which is cool. Um, the only downside is that it's heavier, I guess, and bulkier. So I might just keep the big one. So it's always the outer ones that are super tight. So I hope this one's not gonna be an issue maybe it's a little less thicker on these I'm not sure but I think they're about the same thickness down here so I really don't see a downside to just getting the big one and not bothering with the small the smaller ones okay we're on Ooh. okay all right got a little pop out of there and it's moving Cool. It's on video. Okay. I have a feeling the camera's gonna lose the battery any minute now. I wanna check my timer. Whoa. Okay. The uh, needle bearings fell out of that fell out to that one. That's going there. This is on the other side. Yeah, we just take this. We have our clutch doodad. Our synchronizer ring. Um, doesn't look bad. Check the teeth on this one. Well, the teeth on this one look really good. First, actual gear. Oh, that might actually be worn. Um, let's get the shaft down. Okay. Ah, slippery. Those uh, teeth look very shiny. The, the small teeth on the inside here, and they feel very rough. This might be the problem with my third gear. It might not be the synchro ring. Which makes sense because when the problem with third gear was you would go into third gear and you would, wouldn't go into third gear. And then you could feel it to it would kind of click in, but not really. And then it would grind a little bit if you let go of the clutch. So you had to get to that second click in, which sometimes you had to spin transmission slightly just to get in there. And I think this is why. So I need a new reverse gear. Um, that was not on my list of parts. So hopefully I can get my hands on one of these. I might be another two, a week or two out before I get the parts to start reassembling the transmission. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get this one on, on eBay or something. Uh, it's kind of, kind of iffy. Oh, there's time for the. 
camera. So we'll see, but uh, there's some other things to do. In the meantime, I could prep the car. 10% battery, oh. I think it stops the camera at like 7%. So we gotta, we gotta plug in. This thing gets so hot that it starts smelling like a, a exposed battery, which is kind of dis, uh, disturbing. So other things to do would include uh, putting in the clutch. Uh, I got a new clutch kit. I went ahead and paid the extra 90 bucks to get an entire kit um, and replace the clutch component. Because the old one was still decent. It had enough material on it to keep going, but I have the, everything apart. It's a pain to get everything apart, so might as well replace everything when I have it apart. I have a replacement bearing for this. I think this one was squeaking. Um, or maybe in the other bearing. I don't know. And I got some more prep work to do under there, so there's still plenty to do. Um, just, I don't think it's gonna be two weeks worth of stuff to do. At least I hope it isn't. No, in my luck, I can make it three weeks worth of stuff to do. Handle with care. Do not drop. Wow, they put a lot of thought into this. This has six springs and this has four, but it doesn't really matter. It's the same size. Uh, yep, that lines up fine. Cool. I might as well go ahead and see if I can find that on eBay. So I need sixth gear and reverse gear. Oh, I need reverse gear, but it'd be nice to have sixth gear too. Why 601 this. Alright, so I might I should be able to get reverse gear, hopefully. Looks like there's some websites for that. And then what about six gear? Six gear is five, six, seven, one, seven, three, nine. Oh, I might be able to get it for seventy bucks on eBay. All right, so the gear I, I damaged is not expensive. I mean, it it adds on to the end cost of everything, but. I'd rather replace it and have a known work good gear in it. Cool. So that'd be this one. It's chipped here. It's actually still, uh, it's cracked even there. I think all I'm gonna do for the rest of the day is I'm gonna clean, clean up, organize things, put everything in bags, re my tools and uh, stuff. So if you want to stick around for that, great. If not, thanks for, thanks for coming along. Yeah, so the way the clutch kind of works is this is uh, it's called a flywheel. This attaches to... Oh, oh no. Okay, I think we're back. I don't know why it does that. Um, as far as the camera was concerned, it was still streaming. And the phone would think it's still streaming. The computer program just stopped. It didn't crash or anything, it just stopped. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know when it disappeared, unfortunately. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if I finished talking about the clutch or not, but yeah, that's how a clutch works. <laughs> It, yeah, it, it's magic. It's a magic sandwich. It's exactly what it is. You have this piece, you have an inside piece, and you have the piece that goes on top, and it's a sandwich. That's how it works. It's a magic sandwich. I don't think we'll just leave this one. Mm, actually, I do want to inspect this a little bit. Oh, I regret everything. Um, okay, well, now I need to go chasing parts, so that's, that's great. So we got two, we got three, okay, we got three balls, that's good. 
Three balls. I don't think the caps went flying. Oh. One spring, one cap. Never mind. Oh, two caps. Two springs. Okay. So we're missing another cap, which is probably in here somewhere, and the other spring went all the way over here. So I think the cap fell down over here somewhere, so I'll look for it in a minute. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, inspecting, that was what I was doing. So that looks, that looks fine to me. I'm just looking for any abnormal sign of wear or anything. dirty but it looks fine here it is okay we're good we're good no no problems there that that went exactly as um uh, it, it went according to the um, anyways yep 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 uh they went exactly where i wanted them to you know so i could find them That's a big project. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do that or not. Kind of debating on whether or not that's worth it. But after after all that, my dad has a 1982 uh, Corvette uh, Collector's Edition um, that needs a lot of restoration work. Um, it runs, it sort of drives. Um, it has its issues right now. Uh, the radiator decided to start leaking, so we got to take that out and bring it to a shop to get that repaired. Um, but that's that'll be a fun project. Thanks for joining. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. I uh, will see y'all when I see y'all. <laughs>